Hello everybody, Princess Barry here and we're back at Epcot, the journey into the land for... It's been a year since we've been to the garden grill. Yes, it's time to uh, sit and eat in a circle, we literally. Gonna, we're gonna garden. So we're gonna rotate and eat. And, and, and... Chipping down? Chipping down. We cute, right? You heard the girls. Ooh, backwards. Ooh, backwards. <laughs> Drawing, and then we... This is, this is the trip today. I'm Adele. Yeah, The vegan salad. Well, it's it's just regularly vegan, and there's olives, but I'm eating against the olives. But the dressing is good. And even though I spilled it on myself, I love it. I'm gonna give it a four out of five salads. It's really, really good salad. Now, even though I'm a bear, I'm very proud of being a bear. I absolutely love, absolutely love all forms of rabbit food. You give me some leafy greens with some nice mix-ins and you some dressing and you'll think I'm an oversized rabbit. Let's dig in. Thank you, sir. Anything else I can grab you guys? You're doing okay. We're doing great, thank you. Mm. It's a tangy but light dressing, not too heavy. Vegetables are nice and crisp and fresh. It doesn't taste like a bag salad, like some places we've been to. As far as salads, I'd say it's above average. Even with the olives, I'll take all those in Princess. I would say three out of five plus. I'm gonna do a bread with an earth balance butter. That is so good. I need all that in my life. It's a four out of five breads. I love that. I love that a lot. So we like a house spread that comes plant-based. It's not that hard to find a, a, a dinner roll or even a lunch roll that comes vegan. None of that gluten-free sponge bread nonsense. A nice plant-based roll as is. Nice like Parker house roll. The nice healthy serving earth balance. If one of the restaurants here can do it, you all can do it. I don't want to hear any excuses. That'll be in the store-bought tray of rolls in the other week. Three and a half out of five bucks. Got the magical beacon cocktail, so the 50th drink. You know, I always gotta ask to see if the glow cube is gonna be any cheaper or not. It wasn't, so if you're gonna not be cheaper, I guess get it. It's gin and lemonade, curacao, grenadine. But honestly, it's really sweet. You can't taste too much in it. I don't think it's a super strong drink. So if you like a light sipper, it's probably gonna be good for you. But for me, it's a little too sweet. I would probably get like a 2.5 on five. Not terrible, not great. You wanna try the No, I, I has it before. Oh, you. We have a beautiful Merlot here. 
nice full body amazing nice like uh, berry tones to it I appreciate it I'm gonna give it a three out of five grapes so this h3 Merlot some nice notes from it. Like a sharper berry, like a a very ripe grape and like maybe like a blueberry maybe. The alcohol kind of sits in the middle of your mouth. It's got some nice flavors too. They're really like very fruit forward Merlot. It's definitely very drinkable. I think it pairs well with what you're eating. Um, if you're like new to reds, if you don't like reds, it might be a little bit heavy for you. But as it is, I give it a three out of five claws. I would take a bottle of this home. We're gonna go ahead and save the princess the suffering of drinking Sam Adams Cold Snap. Uh, she. Here and there with the Sam Adams Seasonal this time, it's a white ale. I don't think I've had Cold Snap before, but I'm always up for a new Sam Adams Seasonal. Mmm. Ooh. It's uh, definitely, it tastes like a very light wheat. It's not Belgian style like you prefer, but it's got a nice flavor to it. It'll go crisp with a lot of the, the turkey and the... Match and everything else we're eating today. So three and a half out of five plus. Lightly seasoned, but pretty delicious. I'm not mad at it. I would give it like a two out of five rice. It's not like Persian approved rice for sure. Like the princess, we're gonna try the rice first. A little bit, bits of uh, herbs in here. A little bit of carrots. I like that they seasoned it. It's perfectly cooked. Not undercooked, not overcooked. Given the mass-produced nature of this restaurant, I give them points for not ruining it. But it's still average rice. Mm. Well, it's seasoned, so I'll give it a three out of five plus for the effort. Then we have um, corn with the butter. It's so much better than by itself. Very delicious. I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five corns. The corns which uh, has lima beans in it. And I absolutely despise lima beans in my whole soul. In this, I don't mind them. I've eaten a lot of food in this channel. Uh, a lot of it I don't like, a lot of it I do like. There are two things in life that I absolutely hate. One is lima beans, the second is okra. There's nothing in this world I hate more than okra. But this corn, Given the textures and the flavors, lemon beans work well. I'm not going to rant too much. I'm still giving it two and a half out of five plus. Then we have the green beans. Super green beanie. Slightly salty, but not bad. I appreciate it. I give it like a two and a half out of five green beans. We have the green beans. Let's go ahead and empty the princess's plate. 
not a huge streaming fan, but I will eat them when they're seasoned, right? Huh? Seasoned, not rubbery. Choose well. Nice fresh veggie. I don't think you can be plant-based and complain about that. Two and a half out of five plus. And then my favorite part of the meal here is the vegan loaf. With those like vegan cream on top. Oop. I smooshed. I smooshed the thing. This loaf never ceases to amaze. The loaf is a five out of five. It belongs on the Princess Cities list. It's an amazing um, option for vegans at Epcot. non plus days. The star of the show is this plant-based loaf. Which of the loaves, both alt meat and uh, non-alt meat, probably one of the best I can remember tasting. I hope that it holds up because this is really the main reason everybody plant-based come here is this look. Mm. So delicious inside and out. It's had a nice try to keep it crunchy. The cream on top pairs well. It's a nice like savory flavor. It's definitely not trying to be meat, but I'm happy about that. It exists on its own with very good flavor all the way through. And something that sits very light. Even if you're not a big plant-based person, and you want to start trying to eat plant-based, I've always thought that Garden Grill is a great place to start. You eat this, honestly, you're not going to miss the, the non-vegan plate. Four out of five plus. Right. So we have the regular Garden Grill plate with the assortment of stuff. So we have turkey with gravy. We have a nice slices of beef with a nice chimichurri. The same green beans the princess had. Stuffing, same corn, and then mashed potatoes. Let's go ahead and get these mashed potatoes first. Nice, subtle buttered mashed potatoes. A little bit of salt in them. Um, they are not completely smooth all the way through. Uh, so there's some chunks of potato in there. Some people have a preference one or the other. If you have a problem with textures that might annoy you a little bit, but it's still got a good flavor to it. I give that three out of five plus. The green beans are pretty sure the same. They're the same. And they're green beans. Two and a half out of five plus. And the corn, which on my plate, it's a bit more like a corn succotash, which just gives me homecoming vibes, which probably means we need to go back soon. So let us know if you want us to go back in the comments. Even with the lima beans. Two and a half out of five plus. And with stuffing. And stuffing, while I'm never gonna refuse it, always makes me feel Thanksgiving. I can't think of any other time that I eat that stuffing other than the holidays. A nice herb stuffing. It's nice and soft. No crunky pieces are undercooking the way through. It's good. Good. Three out of five claws. Now let's try this, uh, this here chimichurri beef, which hasn't changed. I wish the vegetables here were a little bit more seasonal. You would think they are, but we've come here now, what, three times? And it never changes. But I guess you're gonna be some different cuts. Maybe some different sauces that are more seasonal. Even if the actual horses themselves don't change. Nice shimmy cherry flavor without being overpowering. Um, the cuts are okay. I don't think it's special. It's not steakhouse level, but it's still got some good flavor too without being overcooked. Definitely not dry. Three out of five plus. Then you have turkey, which I always worry about. Turkey is one of my least favorite meats. Probably because I had it dry so much as a child. So they do top with gravy. You don't get extra gravy, but I'm pretty sure you could ask for it. But a nice good chunk of uh, the white meat there. I don't know if it feels like a fresh shrimp turkey. It feels more like a thick cut deli style. But it's moist. 
and the flavor is there. Never not my favorite of the bunch, but it's still got good flavor to it. Two and a half out of five plus. Garden Grill is always in a place you can come get decent food for a decent price and still see characters. It achieves all that. I just wish some of the food was a bit more special because a lot of this, aside from the stuffing, feels like the same kind of food that you get at other character dinings without defining itself as being unique. It's nice how the vegetables come from living the land. I just wish it had more of an identity of garden grill when you eat here. The last time we came here, we had turkey, which hasn't changed, but I did not try the turkey with the cranberry sauce. Now, because I refuse to eat mac and cheese this time, because last time it made me deathly ill and still walk around the park the whole day, I will give you your turkey and cranberry sauce. Because I don't usually eat the two together. It's like putting jelly on top of meat. I'm into it. I'm into it in Thanksgiving. I don't know about a regular meal. I don't hate it. Cranberry sauce is good. It definitely feels better than like a canned cranberry sauce. The flavors mix well, but it's not like mind blowing. It's not gonna change your life. Three out of five blocks. They know that. That's why they fill us up. It's a point. It's a serving spoon. All right. Well, I'm gonna take a, a super large spoon with the these berries and I'm just gonna like put it here. So berries and cream, berries and cream. I need a little lap like berries and cream. I got it. It tastes a little artificial. It's not a bad dessert, but it's not the best dessert. It almost tastes like a Pop Tart, but organic. Two and a half out of five desserts. The plant based basically like shortcake plant-based with berries and this like strawberry cream sauce it is very hard to get on a spoon without making a mess but it is possible i do desserts for you guys i hope you know this. i do i still i'm not on the dessert train i think in competition mission the bread it does sort of give off like that gluten-free vegan taste, but the, the the berry compo from the berries on top do sort of help with that. I give it a nice flavor. It's not the best plant-based dessert. So the best plant-based dessert in Epcot, you definitely have to go to Coral Reef, but it's not bad. Two and a half out of five plus. I still to this day take issue with the portion sizing of all you can air care to enjoy places. This is a massive dessert. But you have pound cake, berries, and a little coconut whipped cream. And now I love pan pound cake. It's one of my few weaknesses. When I say few, I mean many. Uh, which is why I avoid it. You guys never see me eat it. And then coconut whipped cream. I hate whipped cream, but coconut might not be so bad. Mmm. Mmm. Make Sarah Lee go broke. I can really do without coconut cream, whipped cream. It's okay. It does add a little bit more flavor to whipped cream, which I think mostly, personally, is kind of flavorless. The pound cake with just strawberries. This is the way. Three and a half out of five plus. Another successful garden grill adventure it was so good. around the world of basically around living with the land. It was so good. The princess is full. I'm, I'm full. full. 
definitely, if you're going to come here for a park day, make sure you're not trying to stay at the park all whole day. I'm ready to We are full. Out. I need wheelbarrows. We're going to go and cut it short. If you guys have anywhere else you want us to go around Epcot or Orlando, period, comment some place to find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. And we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And like this video. And if you don't comment, Bear will never come to Epcot again. He just won't. He'll quit. You heard the girl. It's so good to see you. You're the bear.